Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment, and today I'm going to give you guys a behind-the-scenes look of a wedding that we did at Great Gable Estates. I just want to let you know that uh, DJ Cut um, was phenomenal. Uh, just absolutely great in terms of just making sure everything was running smoothly, um, made sure that he was able to get everybody in place and had a positive attitude, show up on time, and um, yeah, we just had a great time. It was a fantastic wedding, and I couldn't uh, said anything better. So. He did an amazing job. We had a moment to ourselves where we danced and all of a sudden the clouds came around yes. us and the entire room melted just a, as much as I did. It was the most beautiful evening that I could have ever imagined and thank you for keeping it on track, on schedule, and with the most beautiful atmosphere that I could have ever imagined. So thank you. The package that we kind of came up with our clients to fit the room. A lot of times people will call me and be like, how much does a DJ cost? And it really just depends on one, the location, the date, our availability, what DJ you want to choose for your event, and then also the package that's needed for the room because it's a, not a one size fits all. And when we design our packages, we're really going to design the packages including lighting and sound for your room. So it just depends on what your room looks like and what all is needed. So for this particular location, we needed to do some lighting. We needed to do a setup outside for the cocktail area. And then we also had a large room set up so we had to have the proper speakers so that way we weren't pushing all the sound from the dance floor all the way across the room so everybody could hear correct so the first thing that i want to talk to you guys about is setting up sound for your room now this can really depend on the size of the room and the number of guests and the amount of speakers that we need can uh, d be dependent on these on these two factors. Usually we like to have two speakers that are by the dance floor. Now if we're getting to a guest count of about 75 to 100, then we're gonna need to add one or two extra speakers depending on how long the room is and then where the dance floor. So if the dance floor is located on one end of the room and then the head table and most of the guests are on the other end of the room, so that way we're not pumping the sound from the dance floor all the way to the other end of the room. And that's what we had to do at this event. So when we do a site walkthrough, not only do we look at the sound, but we also look at the lighting that it's gonna to take to have a good dance party. When we get there during dinner time, the lights might be all on. It's great for dinner, but when it comes to dancing, sometimes we need to turn all the lights off because they're not on a dimmer. And what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to counter that with either some up lights that will change the uh, walls of the room. And then a lot of times on the dance floor to make it look good for the videographer and the photographers in dancing, we'll do spotlights. Now, it really just depends on the room. Now, when we accept a wedding, this is gonna include lighting. You don't necessarily have to get lighting from us, but depending on the lighting for the room, we do need to have a optimal uh, lighting situation for the room, whether that's inside or outside. And we'll give you our professional opinion of what it's gonna take to have the proper lighting for your event. And the key is the proper lighting, not just what's available for the room. Now I've had many weddings where it was too dark and we've had people actually get injured at the dance party. Um, some of the grandmas, aunts and uncles a little bit older will trip over something because they can't see. So it's really important to have, once again, proper lighting for the room and your layout. So outside of lighting to make the room pop, one of the cool things that we did for this wedding is called First Dance on Clouds. And what this is, is a machine that has uh, dry ice in it, and we pump hot water over the dry ice to create a cloud effect. Most importantly, this is not a fog. Many people think this is like a fog machine that has the smell of fog and you know sets off fire alarms and not that this is actually dry ice that's being uh pumped with water to create the effect 
And so this couple really wanted to make their first dance pop. And this is really good for photos and video. And this is an add-on feature that we had uh, in this room. It looked really good, especially with the up lights because the up lights would color the clouds. So depending on the lighting that we have in the room, the clouds can actually take on the color of the lighting in the room as well. And it's a really cool wow factor, especially when it starts billowing over the dance floor and you have all the guests cheering um, and make it a lot of noise because this is something that they usually don't see at every wedding. Now, when we come out to do a site walkthrough, we'll see where the ceremony site is being taken place, where the dance party, where the dinner, and also the cocktail area. A lot of times they're all in one location, but at this particular event, we had cocktail that was being taken place in almost like a hallway outside of the main room. So once the ceremony was done, we had a separate setup. This, this particular room, we just did a speaker out in the hall. So that way when everybody was out in the hall doing cocktail hour for about 45 minutes. I think this one lasted. They had music. They could also hear all the announcements on the microphone. And then we were in the uh, dance hall and we were able to do a room flip. So then that way we can bring everybody from the cocktail hour into the reception at the appropriate time. So it's really important when we do our site walk to be able to see where everything is being taken place. So that way that we can create a proper package that's gonna include sound for each of the different locations that you guys are needing it. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. If you guys have any questions about any of the topics that we discussed in this video, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you guys.